Hello YouTube. Today I uh, managed to get out. I'm uh, in a small uh, uh, woody area near the river. And uh, today I want to uh, test, to show you the test that I put uh, this little knife, this little knife links by joker the knife came to me and this sheath is all leather all well made uh, this is a basic sheet we can uh, uh, purchase with in also in leather with uh, the loop to hold our fire starter or we can uh, purchase it in kydex with or without the loop for uh, for the ferrocellium. Uh, this is the sheath, as I said. Uh, it's very good. A little minus. This snaps. I don't know if they are secure enough to uh, keep the knife on our hip without losing it uh, through the thick vegetation or uh, in other conditions so uh, we can also put here a dangler system we can glue these snaps we can saw uh, this strap of leather each one will do as it pleases it uh, as I said the sheet is very good one uh, the knife have the handle in orange micarta you can have it also in black or gray micarta this one is the cheapest I uh, wasn't very uh, uh, certain that this uh, will be a good knife so I uh, purchased it uh, the cheapest version but the knife is the same there is only the uh, handle and the sheath. The steel of the uh, blade is um, uh, stainless steel, is a Bowler uh, N695, uh, is uh, a steel that is similar to VG10, uh, is a steel that, that, uh, that keep very 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 good uh, the, the edge. I uh, have this knife for some time uh, I sharpened it it is true but only once and uh, since then I use it and I think it can shave it can still shave um, the grind is uh, high saber I don't know if you can see it but uh, the grind starts to thin from here down and we have a secondary bevel that is obvious is very obvious but uh, that uh, uh, put very uh, very much material of the blade behind the cutting edge so uh, that will hold for a very uh, long time I have here a piece of uh, poplar as I said I'm near the river but uh, even the poplar is uh, soft wood this one is full of nuts everywhere every part of the wood is full of nuts so uh, we could try to see what our little blade can do uh, my baton is from a branch of door wood and uh, even it is thin I think it's strong enough so let's do it this is the benefit of the high saber and of the uh, spine of the knife that is 4 mil thick because uh, the thickness of the spine create a crack long before the cutting edge reach that area and at batoning task we uh, do not uh, stress the cutting edge 
because the splitting of the wood is made by the thickness of the blade only. It went through that nut like through butter and now we have two pieces of wood. Uh, I didn't tell you, I wanted to show you now. The tip of the blade is very 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 thick. Uh, looking from above looks like it is not sharpened but from the side it is very 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 sharp. So uh, I have no problem, I have no emotions to drive the tip of the blade into the wood and drill this kind of holes because the tip is very very strong and we will not have any any trouble. Uh, another feature of the knife is that the tank protrudes a little from the handle so we can also uh, use it to baton our knife down into the wood that we want to uh, work. This is a plus and also we can use it to crack different uh, materials, nuts, ice and so on. Now I will split again this piece of buffer. Yes. As I said, it is very, very, very knotty. And uh, let's try to make some feather sticks. I lose that part because it's somehow not free, at least at the first sight. And as you can see, I was wrong. Here, right here, is a knot. But we can go and do our job even if we have a nut. As you can see, the knife is very, very, very sharp and also, even is uh, thick, this will not uh, make us difficult to obtain feather stick. It is a very very good knife for doing that. You can see most of the feathers, uh, not most, many of the feathers uh, are falling on the ground because as I said uh, the wood is full of nuts and I have to push harder to obtain feather stick and sometimes I'll cut it off the stick. Uh, this is the type of feathers that we can obtain with the knife with this kind of wood. I think they are okay. I don't see anything uh, wrong with it. And we will put it to the test. We will light it with the help of Fatwood and Ferrocerium rat. Now, let's say that we need a tent pack and we have to do it. This also was a nut. Look how easy this little knife cut through the wood. The wood is green and in a very little time we have uh, obtained a very pointy uh, tent peg. Now I will make the seven notch. I will use the Spanish way and that means uh, they start with the cuts that go up the wood and only after they do this type of cuts they make the stop cut that uh, Americans or 
you key start uh, the several notch with this is another way this is very good way and we have obtained the seven notch a very good seven notch uh, also thinking the thickness of the stick it was very easy uh, let's say now that we need a big notch to hang our pot nothing easier we'll put our uh, notch in the X form as I said I always keep my blade at an angle and after that I cut that X I will start excavating material and we will obtain our big notch this is the start and now every time that I cut I will overlap my cuts so every time my uh, blade reach under the beak for uh, uh, obtaining uh, uh, our little hole without uh, digging underneath the beak this is very easy with a sharp blade like this we do not have to uh, reach under the beak and uh, cutting out material as I said many people do this is what I have obtained you uh, saw I never used the baton to uh, help me doing the, the notch because uh, the blade is very sharp the geometry of the blade is very helpful and I really did not need any help to obtain this uh, beak without any any problem look how deep it is our uh, big notch could sustain a pot a pot hanger anything we need uh, this is for the blade of the knife now let's test the back of the spine we have here a little piece of fat wood let's see if we can obtain some fat wood dust nothing easier the spine of the knife is very very sharp and in a little time we have obtained some nice fatwood shavings that will be very easy for us to ignite with our ferrocerium rod let's make this little pile like this let's clean the back of our blade and now let's try to start That's it we have fire and now we can put on top our feather stick and they will start to burn almost immediately this is it as I said I'm in the in a river bed but uh, I will use plenty of water because I don't want to uh, start any wildfire we had a drought here and this is the best way to behave all right our fire is down and now let's talk again about this knife in my opinion this knife is one of the best knives that i used in my bushcraft career it is 
very comfortable the handle is very hefty I have a lot of handle to use uh, the steel is very good it keeps a very good edge and also it is easier to sharp uh, the geometry is exquisite you have seen uh, all my works uh, are done only by the force of my hand I didn't use the baton to do the notches as I was forced to do with uh, other knives that didn't cut so well uh, the price is very 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 affordable and uh, in short it is a very good knife so even if I don't uh, have any uh, connection with uh, the Joker knives I strongly recommend any one of you who want uh, to purchase to buy a knife uh, a bushcraft knife first look of what they are offering uh, this knife has also a very good story uh, the knife maker called upon nine Spanish bushcrafters and with their help created a series of knife of bushcraft knife BS9 that contain seven knives that are dedicated to bushcraft uh, they are very uh, different in shape they are very different in steel but they are all made with the bushcraft in mind so if uh, you want to buy a bushcraft knife and you are from Europe and you are also uh, at a budget I strongly recommend to buy 